become an issue uh, at yeah, some point. Here. I think so, yeah. I mean, we, we have changed over to snow in Salem. In Portland, it's interesting because I think it's going to probably be mostly snow. You might get a little bit of freezing rain and sleet on the south side of the metro in particular. But for most of Portland, it's going to be snow. We have up the totals in Portland looking more like three to four to five inches now. So a significant mm -hmm. event right. for them. All right, so this thing eventually will begin to push its way east. As you mentioned before, it, it stretches out a bit, becomes an elongated system, and yeah. so a big chunk of real estate gets snow. Absolutely, and, and we're going to continue to watch this fire hose drive in and across the Wind River Range there, the Apsaraca Mountains, Wyoming getting crushed by this thing. And then look at the Sierra. That's very heavy rain there in the foothills of the Sierra and then very heavy snow in the higher elevations, maybe as much as six feet wow. in the highest elevations wow. there in the southern Sierra. And then that's going to wind down going into late Friday, low starting to crank up there in the Rockies. I uh, wanted to show you a live view of Squaw Valley. Uh, this is from uh, Squaw Valley's, their, their camera there. Look at that beautiful yeah. shot there. Absolutely gorgeous. They've got a base of about two feet right now. They're looking for another, uh, say, a foot or so out of the storm. So this is so great. These, these mountains could be a light, lot whiter a lot whiter. in the coming days. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and all the way around, it's been great for skiing in the West, these last series of storms, this last series of storms. Uh, here's a look at the pressure gradient on Friday. Notice all the lines in there. Very steep pressure gradient, so the wind's really picking up as the snow's coming down in Wyoming. Could be some blizzard conditions there. And then, as you mentioned, it's going to really start to pull out and across and into the plains. Huge snow totals across the interior west and uh, then our storm begins to really come out on Friday. So there is light snow in the Midwest initially. Rates will come up we think by Friday night. Winds picking up on the back side of the low there and you see how far this thing stretches. Right. This is what you were talking about. Got arms. Yeah I mean exactly it's been snowing here across the interior west while it's snowing in New York City at the same time. And that's because there are a couple of different pieces, but we're calling it the same event. And it is this big flow that's driving up. And, and I think a place like Chicago would be three weekends in a row that yeah. have snow. Right, and right now we're thinking probably about five inches, maybe more than that. Yeah. Uh, could be significant icing in some parts of Illinois and Indiana. It, icing is also going to be a huge issue there along 81 and eventually up 81 and into eastern parts of Pennsylvania. And if you notice where some of that wintry precip goes, it goes all the way down to up yeah. to South Carolina. Right. So we'll get that cold air damming here on the east side of the mountains. But farther south you go, you end up getting all rain. That may actually be our blessing for the south. We've been going through drought conditions there, a place like Atlanta. You've been one of the places just been really suffering through dry conditions. 49 degrees for you right now. But more showers are certainly coming your way. You got about a nine inch deficit as far as rain goes in 2016. So this will be a welcome sight for you. And I think we can hold off at least in the forecast now on severe weather. So let's take a look at a big picture here. Look at the southeast and show you what's happening. There is some of that Friday night precip here that's all in purple. So Asheville, Charlotte, maybe a place like Spartanburg. Heads up on icy conditions possible for you. Everyone else ends up getting rain. That will include Atlanta, Nashville, Birmingham, and Jackson. So that's a good forecast for you. The rain's well placed right where the drought is happening. Saturday, more rainy weather for you. Maybe some severe weather in places like Louisiana. Then the forecast Saturday night is more rain. A little bit of cold air now on the back side of that system brings out maybe some frozen precip to places like Nashville, maybe eventually Knoxville. So heads up on that. But the, maybe the bigger picture takeaway here, Maria, is we've got some rain, some moisture coming to the south. We need it. Uh, absolutely. We don't need more snow necessarily in places that are getting it now. I think you called it earlier, the worst evening commute in the country right now around Buffalo, including as you're approaching West Seneca. Our Scott Newell is making his way towards West Seneca, New York, and you can see it is not an easy go. Scott, how are things going? Well, I actually got on 190. I wanted to show you what it is like. You look at the signs up there. You can barely see them. I wanted to show you what it's like to drive directly into it because I'm heading pretty much directly west and that band is coming right through here. So there are times here where I have just got to slow down to almost nothing because I can't see a thing. I don't know if you can see that. But well, yeah, we can. Uh, yeah, the picture is yeah. very clear in terms of uh, how difficult it must be for you right now. The other thing is tough. I've got blade windshield wipers, which are supposed to be pretty good. There you go. There's, did you see the lightning? Yeah. I don't know if you saw it. That was did you see crazy. That? Yes. No. <laughs> All right. So that's good. I don't hear any thunder, but we did get lightning. Wow. Um, it's the what happens is it's coming down so heavily that it's getting on my windshield wiper blades, and so you know it makes it very difficult to keep the windshield clean. So uh, this is not something you want to be out in. 
and I'm heading, uh, as I say, heading toward the lake, and I'm going to probably make it as far as there and see what we've got there. And that's the way it is in Buffalo tonight. Not want to be on the road tonight here. All right. Thank you, guys. Well, Scott Newell, we appreciate you doing just that for us to, to give be that cautionary tale and show you exactly what it's like to be out here.